Und zu Schellerin, meine Mie, hier ist Shinya Kusa mit einem Euer CCA mit einer neuen Folge von Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. So, meine lieben Leute, wir sind jetzt in der Flüchtlingslager. Wir wollen ja, es ist ja wieder ein Mord passiert. Und zwar, ich weiß nicht wie, aber das wollen wir ja auch herausfinden. Aber egal, schon drüber, wie es weitergeht, erfahren wir jetzt. Und ich habe was äh, schon was nachgeguckt. Hier. Habe ich vergessen. My brother. A single Malpal butt. Roadman cigarettes. A brand highly regarded by law enforcement officers. So there wasn't any sophisticated infiltration plan. The good old police just let the man into the camp. Now we have everything we need to get the full picture of what happened at the camp. Also okay. Wie ist das da passiert? Nein. Er gerutscht. Wurde vergewaltigt. Messer. Stimmt. Wenn es ein Flüchtling ist, Vergewaltigung und schuldige Flüchtlinge zu vergewaltigen oder zu töten und schuldige Flüchtlinge zu töten, das ist auch eine Sünde. Was geht auch nicht. gelaufen. Warte mal kurz, da kommt hier. Okay. Da kommt dieser Wichser hier. fällt hin. Mm -mm. Warte mal, warte mal, der wurde ja erstochen. Er wurde ja erstochen.
que ya haya also Schlussfolgerung das ist ja die vergewaltigende Frau die wurde gezerrt von diesem Wichser und der wollte sein das war vermutlich seine Frau Ja. So muss es. Nein, 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 so muss es passieren sein. Jawohl. So we have a thug who came to take a refugee woman with him. She resisted, but he dragged her by force. One of the refugees stood in his way, armed with a stick, yet he could do nothing against a cutthroat with a blade. The man didn't anticipate that the other refugees would intervene and stand against him. In the confusion, the woman managed to break free. The thug took fright and fled. He was stopped by the falling crates, he stumbled and fell, piercing his chest with his own blade. However, the wound didn't cause instant death. He managed to stand, but still bleeding, He lost his balance on the bridge and fell. Before all of this, the man had freely entered the camp through the main entrance. The police admitted yeah. him after they had a short smoke together. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. In our man's case, it's the same sword. Der Schurke wollte die Frau entführen. Der Schurke kam ins Flüchtlingslager, um eine junge Frau zu entführen. Er hätte sie töten können, er tat es, es aber nicht. Nicht nur Dieb, sondern auch Handlanger. Der Schurke ist nicht nur ein Dieb, sondern wollte auch eine Frau entführen. Eine Handlanger für verschiedene Aufgaben. So, jetzt befragen. You still here? I've already told you all I've learned. Don't bother someone else with this, son. I've already told you all I've learned. I've already told you all I've learned. Don't bother someone else with this, son. Don't bother someone else with this, son. Your problem, not mine. I've already told you all I've learned. Your problem, not mine. I've already told you all I've learned. I've already told you all I've learned. Don't bother someone else with this, son. Ich muss Your sein. problem, not mine. I've already told you all I've learned. Don't bother someone else with this, son. Don't bother someone else with this, son. I've already told you all I've learned. I've already told you all I've learned. Your problem, not mine. 
Inspector, I believe I can aid your investigation. I know who the dead man is and what really happened here. You do? Well, good for you. But I'm afraid I'm not the one you need to share your findings with. Speak to Mr. Harlow here. He's the one responsible for settling things in the cab. You don't even care to listen? Oh, I do care. Maybe even more than I need to. But I'm only here today to lock the place up, question witnesses and file the facts. It's sad, but coming up with conclusions is not among my tasks here. You fellows at City Hall do that. Anyway, speak to the supervisor. I'll just stand by and listen to what you have to say. Mr. Harlow, your refugees didn't murder anyone. What? Pray tell me what you've learned. All right, listen carefully. This might solve one problem for you, but will create a few more. Oh, well, that's a great start. The man came to the camp intending to kidnap one of your refugees, a woman. What he didn't expect was that the refugees would stand up to protect the woman. A brawl had broken out. In the chaos of it, the man stumbled over those crates and fell on his own blade. How do you know he fell on his own blade? The wound in his chest was inflicted from an unusual angle. It was not an offensive stab, shall we say. The refugees didn't touch him. And judging by the blood at the scene, the intruder managed to raise himself but was unable to walk very far. He ultimately fell into the canal. But how did he sneak into the camp? Why didn't the police see him? And this is where your new problems emerge, Mr. Harlow. What do you mean? You're not a dull-witted man. You know what I mean. There is no feasible way to get into the camp without the police guards knowing of it. <sighs> the pile of mess I had to sort out has just become bigger. But somehow that doesn't surprise me. Anyway, I thank you for your help, Mr. Holmes. I'll take it from here. Meanwhile, I'll make sure the police aren't detaining the refugees any longer. You can go back in and look for your witness. Do you think one small clock can make any difference in this place? Who knows, John? Just one ill-fitting cog could make the whole machine crumble. Uh. Can I ask you a question? They often take us from the camp to work. Most don't mind, though. It's the only way to get a glimpse of freedom. Wie geht das mit den Flüchtlingen ab? Vor der Aussage der Flüchtlinge zuvor kommen regelmäßige zivilische Personen in das Lager und neben Flüchtlinge mit ihnen zu den Auszahlen des Lagers unterschiedliche Arbeiten verrichten. Dabei handelt es, handelt es sich um eine gewöhnliche und schwere Arbeit, doch die Flüchtlinge bekommen dafür Geld und Essen. Die Frau, die aus der Lager entführt werden sollte, wurde missbraucht. Bestimmt sie vorgeblich zur Arbeit mitgenommen worden war, seitdem haben die Flüchtlinge nicht mehr zugelassen, dass Frauen aus der Lager geschleust werden. So there's a smuggling ring in the camp. This wasn't the first time that someone freely entered the camp to take a refugee out. At least it was certainly his last time. My gut tells me that we'll learn more about this ring when we find out where the thug came from. John's Zeichnung eine Schwangere. I owe you a lot, Mr. Holmes. You're disturbing a hornet's nest here, son. May I ask you something? Sorry. We don't see much here. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Nothing I can tell you, sir, but others might know more. Was ist das denn noch für Mit Personen reden. Who isn't allowed to visit the crime scene these days?
so. You're the one who tended to our man's wounds. I thank you greatly. The police didn't allow us to help him. The police will leave you alone now. I've proven to them that the man who came into the camp died due to his own foolishness. Thank you for standing up for us. But nobody would help us without a reason. You're here because you want something. Yes, I do. I need to speak with the girl drawn here. Mm. The dead man came for her too. He wanted to take the girl away. But we won't allow her to be hot again. What do you want from Nela? Nela. She was hurt some time ago. I'm here to find the people who did this and bring them to justice. And to find them, I need Nayla's help. Will you let me speak to her? Justice. There's no justice on this land. But you helped us, so maybe your words are not empty. You can speak to Nayla, if she wants it. But I will be watching you. Hello, Nayla. Hello, Nayla. My name is Sherlock. I know someone hurt you. I am here to help. I'm trying to find the people involved and bring them to justice, please. There is a photograph, and I'm sorry, it is terrible, but I simply must ask. Where did this happen? What can you tell me about these people? Christ, Sherlock. Nayla, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm not very good at this. You come here for me, but you are rude and cruel and condescending. A cross. The man had this cross. Now go away. Leave us be. I do not need another white man's help. Oh, glad that wasn't me. Not my best work, John. My long shot. Nayla doesn't want his meddling. I'm starting to wonder what this all achieves. But she helped you anyway. Now we know that maniac's face and the cross he wore, we can still catch him. Genug Hilfe von weißen Männern, da was was hast du dann hier zu suchen dran? Ich helfe dir doch meine Fresse. Wenn es umgedreht ist, ist es nicht so rassistisch. Aber so zu machen, will das ist leider dieser Welt, in der Leben. Der Gewaltiger ist hoch, hochrangiger Beamter. Derartige Ordner werden für gewöhnliche und nur hochrangige Staatsdiener verliehen. So wie der Vergewaltiger auf dem Foto. So, ich muss wahrscheinlich wohl... Zeigen. Would you like to report a crime? Okay. Okay, das bringt nichts. Vielleicht Zeitung?
Äh, John zeichnet die Fotografie. Äh, ich hatte die Fotografie, zu, Fotografie zuvor im Mrs. Äh, McMahon's Wohnung gefunden. Auf der Zeichnung ist der Vergewaltiger zu sehen, ein Mann im roten Anzug mit, Sch mit Schwänzen auf den Brücken. <lacht> Nein, der Zeit zeichnete eine auffällige kreuzförmige Ordnung. Äh, auffällige kreuzförmige Orden, dass sie auf dem Brust das Vergewaltiger gesehen hatte. Orden wie dieser werden normalerweise nur hochrangige britische Amtsträger verliehen, von denen nicht gerade viele Corona bereisen, geschweige denn auf der Insel arbeiten. Venezianer? Nein. Was genau muss ich da eingeben? So, also das weiß ich. Hat man kurz aufmerksam durchlesen nicht. einfach also mittelalter mittelalter orden 18 jahrhundert Tätigkeiten, Personen, das ist Tätigkeiten. Amtsträger. Scheiße. Sonstiges. Scheiße. Bürger. Vernehmen. Amtsträger. Scheiße. Jetzt auch einmal. Was ist dieser Frau eigentlich? If you're here on matters of signing up for military service, come back tomorrow. Our department needs to straighten out some business. Hm. 
Bartstolper. Kein, keine Zeit zum Rasieren. Britische Ritterorden. Abgenutzt, da immer getragen. Wein? Arbeitet immer sehr lange. Kein Schlaf letzter Zeit. Der Orden oft in der Welt sieht recht abgenutzt aus. Der Mann ist stolz auf seine Schande, seinen Orden nie abzunehmen. Ja. Why are you staring at me like I'm a Madame Tussauds figure? Didn't you hear what I just said? You blame yourself for what you did. Won't be any good unless you confess to me, so I'll try to be polite. What sort of did are we talking about? Are you from the press? I'm here because of Naylor. Who? You don't remember her name. Lad, if you won't tell me where you came, I'll call for someone here to sort you out, if you get my meaning. Okay, das ist schon mal gut. Do you recognize this man? Hm. We definitely look alike. But you have the wrong person. Really? Then you won't mind if I pass this along to the newspaper. All right. All right. Is this about money, as you said in the letter? What kind of sum are we talking about? I've never written a single word to you. Bribery, not my style. So, that letter, it wasn't from you? Well, it appears that more and more people in the city are finding out about your despicable hobby, doesn't it? You're in the clutches of justice and very soon they will squeeze you. It's in your best interest to cooperate. Fine. I suppose now we have a nice long talk. Do you drink, Mr... Sherlock Holmes. And I do not. Shame. All the best discussions are accompanied by a glass of whiskey. But out of respect for you, I won't drink either. Respect? That's an unusual word in your mouth, Mr... Where are my manners? My name is Thomas Norton, a British envoy in Cordona on a military mission. So, where do we start? You mentioned blackmail. Tell me about it. All right. A couple of days ago, I received an anonymous letter. It said that in the art gallery at Caravansary, there exists a painting that incriminates me. The blackmailer made it clear that if there is a painting, then a photograph exists too. And I should be wary of what it might do to my reputation. What does the blackmailer want from you? Money, of course. What else do such people want? Needless to say, I don't remember anyone taking photographs at the party. Up until the last moment, I hoped he was bluffing. But he wasn't, as you've just proven to me. Show me the letter. I burnt it as soon as I read it. I've left enough evidence. There's no need for any more. Was ist auf dem Fest geschehen? So, let's return to the beginning. What happened at the party? I vaguely remember that night. As usual at such parties, you meet people, you talk with them, they invite you to spend some time alone with them. What can I say? I got myself mixed up with the wrong company and somebody must have mixed some psychoactive substance in my drink. After that, it's all blurry. I completely lost my sanity. I made a terrible mistake which I regret deeply. You don't say? Do refugee girls often appear on the menu at those types of parties? It's rather rare. So you didn't attend the party to engage in an exotic experience involving a vulnerable woman unable to accuse you of assault? I would never have planned such a terrible thing. What happened was just bad circumstance. The painting that depicted you in the image of the devil was stolen by a mercenary. Did you have anything to do with it? I might be a rotten person, sir, but hiring criminals for illicit purposes is not in my daily schedule. And buying the painting in an attempt to hide the crime, is that on your daily schedule? What would you do in my situation? I would never put myself in such a situation. You're young. I could never have imagined myself in my current position. Yet, here I am in front of you. We all make mistakes, Mr. Holmes. 
and I'm no exception. Boniface Mercurio, does the name mean anything to you? He's an artist, right? The one responsible for the painting that compromises you. I found him dead in his room. Oh, that is bad. Wait, you don't think that I have anything to do with this? You had motive to kill him. Maybe I did, but listen. I know how this looks, but murder? That's on another level. I had thoughts that this Mercutio... Mercurio. Well, him, yes. I thought he could have been the blackmailer. But I was too afraid to make any hasty decisions. There were plenty of ways to fail by making a move, so I chose to wait. To see what he would do next. You have to believe me. I don't believe people. I believe evidence. Then look at the evidence. Mr. Holmes, I've built my entire career on hard work and uncompromising dedication to the Crown. I made a mistake. But I'm not a villain from some cheap adventure fiction. By putting me behind bars, you will benefit precisely no one. Rotting in prison is the least you deserve, but I have a better idea. You will make amends and help the ones you hurt. Ich schlinge nein, sie soll lieber erst lieber Nela helfen. Mit Nela bist du alle. Oh Mann, das ist schwer. Wenn es nur um sie geht, das ist scheiße. Er kommt doch an, welche Flüchtlinge? Nee, wenn ich nur sage, nur Naila, weil das fast ungerecht. Dann lieber die helfen, die es wirklich verdienen. Also will ich es machen, die helfen, die es verdienen. Use your connections to help patriate the refugees. Find them decent homes. Give them jobs. There must be a meaning to your position and my decision. Yes, all right, I can do that. So, will you give me the photograph now? That's not all. Nayla deserves the very utmost of what you can do. Help the girl? I can't risk the press paying extra attention to her. I will do anything except that. I need to think this all through. Don't do anything foolish in the meantime. What makes you think you can decide what's best for these people? Such is the arrogance of British imperialism. I take your point. Opfer des Systems. Die Flüchtlinge sind Opfer des unmenschlichen Systems. Ihre Situation muss und kann verbessert werden. Ja, heutzutage ist es jetzt andersrum bei uns in Deutschland. Der Abgesandte braucht die Fotografie. Der Abgesandte hegt eine eigennützige Interesse an der Fotografie. In seinem Besitz wäre sie für in keine Gefahr mehr. Äh, erstmal nicht. Ich werde es mal lieber weiß haben. Aussage des Abgesandtes. Erstmal beweise, bevor ich was, äh, eine Klage mache, eine Entscheidung treffe. Have you thought it all through? Not yet. Da, äh, ich muss mit denen mal reden. You still here? Ja. 
Your problem, not mine. I've already told you all I've learned. Your problem, not mine. Your problem, not mine. The intruder has a most peculiar tattoo on his neck, two lines and a point. Do you know anything about it? You really want to know, kid? Why? You want to play a policeman or something? I'm sure you have it in your records, so it won't hurt if I have it in mine. In my records, it's just a tattoo, as it should be in yours. Ah, to hell with you. Suit yourself as to what you're going to do with it. Off the record, though, such tattoos are often connected to a man named Mr. Niccolo Bernadotti. Bernadotti, you say? A respectable businessman in Scaladio. His company imports goods and wines, and smuggles everything that can be smuggled between the colonies and the mainland. His people can be identified by an obscure tattoo. Just like the one over there our friend has. But these are all merely rumors, you see. If Mr. Bernadotti was a criminal, he'd be in prison now. Or hanged, right? Okay. You're disturbing a hornet's nest here, son. I owe you a lot, Mr. Holmes. Hey, wo müssen wir jetzt hingehen? Wahrscheinlich bei der Polizei. Dieser Mann kam nicht aus reiner Zufall hierher. Mir spielt er als ein. Bei der Frage über deine Tätowierung können wir diese Rolle verstehen. Inspektor Tesbury sagte, dass dieser Tätowierung mit dieser bei der Person und Wurzel. Wir wissen nicht, Cole Bernanotti in Verbindung stehen. Mr. Bernanotti ist ein Geschäftsmann aus Inskodalea. Also Leider, ja. Beschlagnahmt. Verdächtiger. Wir entdecken mal das Import von Wein und anderer Waren. Und eine Geschichte zwischen dem Kolonier und dem Festmann übertreiben. Verbrechen. Schmuggel. Verdächtiger. Jawohl. Okay. Pazar Road in der Nähe von... Uh, was denn? Pazar Road in der Nähe von Rum Street in Scaladaya.
Roman Reigns und äh, Buzzer Reed. In der Kreuzung. Okay, das ist ja richtig. Okay. Das ist eine der Kirche. Ich habe es gefunden, das war irgendwo hier. Oder? Ach da. It seems they're not expecting guests. I won't wait for an invitation, John. Zum abgeschossen. Wir sollten versuchen, einen anderen. Hier. These workers don't look like your average Cordona folk. They're refugees from the camp. Porcelain friend for every child. Shipped from Cape Town, the wine route from colony to colonies. An essential remedy against sea scourge on any ship. This earthenware came a long way from the Staffordshire potteries. Bernadotti doesn't miss an opportunity to occupy every niche in the market. That's our way in, Sherry. Okay. Hey, yo. This is private property. You lost something. I'm here to discuss business with Mr. Bernadotti. I tried the front door, but... Mr. Bernadotti isn't seeing anyone. You have three seconds to walk away or you'll never walk again. Capito? It's in Mr. Bernadotti's best interest to... One... Shut off. I did try to resolve this peacefully. Take a rest, my friend. Yes. I couldn't miss the party. Oh. Don't bother moving. You've lost. I'm coming. No more cry the snap. I couldn't miss the party. Ah. 
No more crime for you until next month. Komm, besser nicht da. Time to knock. Don't bother moving. It's right, Sava. May I? No more. The snuff's ready. He's all yours now. Go for it. Too simple. Oh, don't cry. Give him the pepper snuff. Jerry, look. This seems familiar. Huh, Africa. A Dogon statue from West Africa. A century old at least. Masks, traditional for the Chokwe people of Central Africa. VH Grindley Flow Blue Tableware. This is what lies behind the facade of Bernadotti Company Limited. Let's see what's hidden. Ah. Vogel's stolen painting. Isn't it curious how it developed into a much more interesting case? An amazing piece of culture. I imagine many collectors and museums would be interested in having it. No, sir. Don't hurt me. It's all right. I won't harm you. Like you didn't harm the folks on the way here. Don't come any closer. One step and I'll shred you to pieces. Not so. Go ahead. Make my day. Right, so. Yes. Yep. Well, uh, excuse me, sir. I, I think I hear. I've got to. It's better I leave. Whoa. Oh, wow. That was as if somebody put my words in your mouth. Bernadotti Company Limited Trade Network reaches the most distant colonies of the Great Empire. It must be very convenient for a man like Bernadotti. Please don't shoot me. I have a family.
spare me? So, you've cut through all the guards just to talk to me. Then come here, and we shall talk. Whenever you're ready. I'd hate to intrude. Okay. Ah, unterscheidet sich von anderen. Scheut nicht, scheut nicht harte, harte Arbeit. Kaltblütig. Lied an Mang Ma Mangelernährung. Verheiratet? Verheiratet? Ja. Es ist in der aber das ist eine Skulus verwandte äh, Bandenanführer, der sich mitten davon scheut, die Hände des Spuckels zu machen. Um seine Macht zu demonstrieren, da er junge Jahre hart arbeiten musste, hat er einen Hass gegenüber seiner Un Umwelt entwickelt. Er, entwart, er, er erwartet ständig Schwierigkeiten und neigt auch selbst dazu, Schwierigkeiten zu machen. Er muss mit den ärmlichen Verhältnissen und muss äh, mit mit der Sicht der Spuren der möglichen Kleidung und vergeben, damit er niemals vergisst, wie er hat. Da man dort und äh, seine Männer haben unterschiedliche Tätowierungen. Derselbe Stil, diese Tätowierungen stellen hoch. Wahrscheinlich ein Code da, welcher diese verschiedenen Ränge in den Durchschnitten geheime Kriminelle oder sonst was berechnet, da geschwätzt war. Genau, sein Geschäftsführer, der berechnet, der geschätzt war, er streitet sehr verstanden. Erwähnt sehr. So, Gangsterboost eher nicht, aber Geschäftsmann, ja. Niccolo Bernadotti, I presume. The name is Sherlock Holmes, and I'm afraid I bring bad tidings. Is that so? The man you sent to the refugee camp failed in his task. He impaled himself on his own blade. Clumsy and chaotic end. For a man who just broke onto my property, you are more businessman than brute. You have my attention, Mr. Holmes. Do not waste it. Mr. Bernadotti, do you know the name Boniface Mercurio? I do not. Mercurio was a local artist. Recently, a man broke into his apartment, ransacked the place, and killed him. The thief was looking for something. You are testing my patience, boy. In a moment, the connection will reveal itself. As I said, your man was found dead in the refugee camp. He was there to kidnap a woman, but the other refugees intervened to try and save her. The ensuing scuffle resulted in the man's accidental suicide. He sported the same tattoo as your men in this building. In fact, it also bears a resemblance to the one on your neck. Care to explain what business your man had with this woman? You have no idea what you are talking about. I can assure you this was no kidnapping. The refugees in the camp are on edge. What happened there is a tragic accident, one I am not responsible for. For what reason was your man there if not to abduct her? Why would I answer? You are yet to justify your presence in the slightest. I was hired, privately, to investigate the recent theft of a painting from an art gallery. My investigation led me to a man from your organization and, thus, to you, Mr. Bernadotti. That is quite a stretch. Why would I need to steal a painting when I could buy any one I wanted? Interestingly enough, I spotted the stolen painting in your storeroom. I buy and sell a lot of things, Mr. Holmes. 
Unfortunately, if this is true, it is not the first time I have been sold stolen merchandise. I presume you were hired by the owner of the gallery. Tell them to contact me, and we'll sort out the situation. So, this painting is why you broke into my office. So many words, so little action. When you barged into my office, Mr. Holmes, I got the impression you wanted to talk business. Now I see you had come just to talk. Tell me exactly what you want, or get out. It was necessary groundwork for what comes next. I have enough evidence to conclude that the gallery thief, the artist's killer, and the dead man in the camp are all the same person. Your time is almost up, Mr. Holmes. Before you draw your gun, there is one final detail I am yet to mention. The young woman your man was tasked to collect from the refugee camp had been defiled at a perverse masquerade party. That violation was captured in a photograph by Boniface Mercurio and used as a reference for his painting. The photo shows the attacker's face. Finally. That's why you're here, Mr. Holmes. You have the photograph. It is what your man was after when he broke into Mercurio's apartment, and it is what you're after too, isn't it, Mr. Bernadotti? You have the photograph with you. How much do you want for it? I am not naive enough to carry it with me, but I am yet to decide what I shall do with it. I know the man in the photo is a British envoy. What interest do you have in his downfall? I must admit, I am rather impressed by how comprehensively you have pursued this matter. And so, you deserve the honest answer. My business dealings are often arduous in their bureaucracy. A man in his position, willing to look the other way, could ease my work significantly. In return, I will make sure no one looks his way either. A favor for a favor. Also known as blackmail, the modus operandi of any true professional. It was not originally my idea. Mercurio set things in motion, extorting the envoy for the most trivial of ends. Money. In response, the envoy hired my man to retrieve the painting and the photograph, eliminating Mercurio's leverage. I only learned the whole story after the artist was killed in his home. And rather than extricate yourself, instead you took over Mercurio's venture. It fell into my lap. As a businessman, I simply seized the opportunity. Now, how much do you want for the image? <laughs> I could not help but appreciate the collection of smuggled artifacts in your storeroom. You have rather diversified your business. Oh, how high and mighty of you, Mr. Holmes. Not all smuggling is immoral. I pay generous rates to developing cultures and spread their culture to eager buyers. And furthermore, I supply many immigrants with a taste of home. A very convenient way of thinking. I have traveled wildly, Mr. Holmes. I've seen people in far-flung lands for whom my services are a lifeline. Without them, they would starve. The tax on cargo is often so absurd that it would be more profitable to simply sink your ship than dock it in the harbor. And trust me, I am speaking from experience. Why did you send your man to remove the woman from the camp? Without a photograph, her testimony was the next best thing. Securing her was in everyone's interest. Victims and witnesses all too often disappear. I thought the girl was cipher with us. I did not anticipate what would happen at the camp. I saw refugees from the camp at your warehouse. They work for you. I have made certain arrangements with City Hall and the police. Thanks to me, refugees can work and be paid. It's a pathway to freedom. And how much do you save by capitalizing on their cheap labor? I have heard no complaints. They seem happy just to get out of that slum. Hmm. Okay. I can't ja nicht ablehnen. I must es ja annehmen. Why should I give you the photograph? Just name your price. What if my price were not money? You claim to have connections, Mr. Bernadotti. 
Perhaps you could improve conditions for the refugees. Give them a chance for a better life. Ha! <laughs> I do have connections, Mr. Holmes, but help the whole camp? You are asking too much. I could, however, make arrangements for one person. The woman who was violated will have her own home, outside the camp, solely for her and her child. She will no longer be a refugee, but a princess. That I can guarantee. Is that really possible? It will be neither fast nor easy, but I can do it. She deserves it, don't you agree? And as for her abuser, he will serve me, as much as he deserves. So, in your plan, everybody will be given their due. Especially you, Mr. Bernadotte. Seems like a fair deal, no? I doubt anyone could offer you better. Simply give me the photograph, and the world becomes a better place. I give you my word. Okay. Ja jestem na Urwo. Ja 